I rise in support of Amendment 528, which has been co-sponsored by Senator Schumer and enjoys the support of many of the nation's top education groups, including the American Council on Education, the American Association of Colleges for Teacher Education, the National Association of Independent Colleges and Universities, the American Association of State Colleges and Universities, and the Association of American Universities, and many others. America's institutions of higher education are vital to building a skilled workforce and to developing leaders that can compete in the global marketplace. Unfortunately, many of our colleges and universities are feeling the effects of the current economic crisis. And as a former governor, I understand that in these difficult times, states are often forced to cut back on funding for critical programs like education. My amendment would provide an additional $2.5 billion to the higher education modernization, renovation, and repair portion of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. The additional funds will bring the appropriation to $6 billion, the same amount as in the House bill, and it will fund critical projects and instructional equipment at our colleges and universities across the country. And this amendment is estimated to create an additional 71,000 jobs. As we talk about this economic package, one of the things that we've all been focused on is how do we create jobs. This amendment would do that. According to the National Association of Independent Colleges and Universities, private colleges in 21 states report they have 572 projects ready to go, totaling $4.5 billion. The funding in this amendment is targeted for those Shovel-ready projects it will have an immediate impact and spur economic growth on the local level. In New Hampshire alone, it will provide an additional $10 million money that can be spent on needed projects, such as rebuilding uh, um, an arts building at Colby Sawyer College, renovating a technology and innovation center at the White Mountains Community College, general infrastructure repair at the University of New Hampshire, and a science building renovation at Franklin Pierce. Clearly, this additional funding will benefit students and colleges across the country and put many people to work. I urge you to join me in supporting Amendment 246, and I would like to submit for the record a letter from the American Council on Education in support of this bill that lists all of those groups that are supporting it. And I ask for unanimous consent to set aside pending amendments and send this amendment to the desk to be considered.